Hello, friends. Today, uh, let me explain the classic KMP algorithm and uh, use this algorithm to solve the implement string string uh, question. So let's first see. Oh, uh, what is the string matching problem? This is a PDF from the Stanford. I will uh, put this link uh, below. Okay. So given a test T and a pattern P, find all occurrences of P within T. So what is the brute force uh, solution? We just, uh, for every place in the T, we um, compare the next uh, M characters with the P. M is the length of the P, and N is the length of the T. So the time capacity will be big O M times N. We can do better with the KMP algorithm. So let's see. KMP algorithm is a linear time algorithm that solves the string matching problem by pre-processing P in bigger theater time, AM time. Main idea is to skip some comparison by using the previous comparison result. We will use array pi that defined as the following. Pi i means the largest integer smaller than i you should pay attention, pay attention to that. This is smaller than i. It cannot equal to i. Such that the pi uh, to p pi i is a suffix of pi. p1 to pi. Let's see the uh, example. So for the a, we know that uh, there is no uh, common prefix in the suffix. So we just uh, return 0. And I'm suitable to mean that the pi i is the common prefix and the suffix of the string p. Then for the a b, it's still 0. But for a b a, we know that it should return 1. What does that mean? Well, a is the prefix of the a b a, and a is also the suffix of the a b a. And for the a b a b, it's 2, right? So we start from 0 and 1, 2. We know AB is a prefix and also AB is a suffix. And for AB, ABA is 3, which means ABA is a prefix and ABA also a suffix. So for the suffix or the suffix, okay. So for this place, we uh, it's a return 6. So we know AB, AB, AB is a prefix. And the a, b, a, b, a, b is also a suffix. Okay, so what, um, what's the usage of this pi i? Let's see um example. If we want to match the p in the t, we first get the pi array of the p. And this is the pi array. And then we start to match. But we will find that uh, in the fourth place, it is a mismatch. If in the brute force solution, we will uh, shift this uh, string one place, and which means we will uh, match at this place, A, B, C, D, A, B, C with this B, C, blah, blah. But we know this is also return mismatch. So where should we start to the next comparison. Well, we will start from this place. Why? Because we already have three characters match. And we know the pi 3 is 0. So we will just uh, shift 3 minus pi 3, which is 3. So we will shift 3 place. Uh, this is the next place we will compare. And then we find that this is also a mismatch, but we, but currently we have zero match, and the pi zero, we define it to the minus a negative one. And uh, in this place we have six characters match, so we will, you know that the next place we will use the six minus pi six, right? Pi six is two, so we will shift four characters. This is the next place we use uh, the comparison. So uh, you will find the importance of this pi array because we can take use of the uh, feature of the pattern p. 
you see the prefix also a suffix, right? So how to uh, get this pi array? Uh, so so on so forth, you will finally get uh, this uh, match, which is here. So how to get uh, the, this pi array? It's based on two observations. The first is that uh, pi to p pi i is all is a suffix of pi to p one to pi, and then p1 to p pi i minus 1 is the suffix of the p i to pi i minus 1. What does that mean? That means if uh, currently the string is a, b, c, d, a, b, you know a, b is the suffix and also the prefix. So we if we minus 1, now we have the string of a, b, c, d, a, we know the pi i will be the pi i minus 1 will be 1 because this place a is also the prefix and a is also the suffix. This is what this mean. But what what about the observation 2? All the prefix of p that are suffix of p1 to pi can be obtained by recursively applying pi to i. This is very important. Let's see an uh, uh, example. Okay, in this place, uh, in this place, right, we know the, the current C is different from this A, right? Because uh, till here, we have a six character match. This is it. A, B, A, B, right? It match with the A, B, A, B, A, B. But for the next character C, it's different from this A. So what is the next place we should check? We should check for this 6. Pi 6 is 4, right? Pi 6, pi 6 is 4. So next place we want to check is here. Why? Because, because you see, in this place, AB, AB is the prefix and the suffix of this AB, 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 right? So we uh, get the pi 6, pi 6 is 4, right? Still, AB, AB is a common prefix and the suffix of the AB, AB, AB. Uh, and the same with the pi 4 is 2. And AB is still the common prefix and suffix of the AB, AB, AB. So this is the... Uh, you know, this is the, like the idea you should get that. If the next character is different from the next character, we will get this pi 6, which is 4, right? We will compare this A with this C. If not, it's, it's also different. We will uh, get the pi 4, which is 2, and we compare this to A to the C. Mm, I hope you understand the idea. If you didn't get that, so maybe when I write the code, you can understand that. And next, let's see the pseudocode in the CLIs. Because I think the pseudocode is very uh, understandable. Let's first see the computer prefix function, which we get the pi array. Uh, we parse the string p to this function and we will get a pi array uh, you, you know it's a, a little bit of difference because I want to uh, initial this pi 0 to negative 1 but basically they are the same this is the core idea which means if the next character of the k is different from the q we will let the k equal to the pi k as you can see, we can recursively get this uh, k. This is the whole idea you should understand here. And if the same, we move k forward because they are the same, right? And we let the pi q equal to the k. This means the number of the character that are match. And finally, we get the pi array. Basically, it's uh, the almost the same with this computer prefix function because you match these two string and uh, the idea to calculate prefix, a prefix function is basically to 
uh, match the prefix and the suffix. So basically, it's also a string match question. So the difference is that so in the case we start from the index zero because we need to compare every character in the P and the T. And uh, another difference is here if the uh, once the queue reach the end, which means we have find a uh, match, so we need to return the start index. But this it want to find the, mm, the or occurrence. But in this question, oh, we only need to find the one occurrence, first occurrence. So let's start to write this code. Okay, first we get the n, which is the length of the t, and then we get the m, which is the length of the p. And you should not forget about h case if m equal to 0, we just return 0. And then we need a pi array. The size should be m because the pi array basically is, uh, recall, recalls the, the common prefix or suffix of this pattern p. And then we call a computer, a computer prefix function and we pass the p and the pi, right? So let's write this uh, computer prefix function. Prefix, we parse the string p, and we parse the pi, right? Pi. And we need a uh, initial the p pi 0 to the negative 1. And we need the k star from negative 1. And we use a for loop. i star from 1 because if it only have one character, it will never have the common proof and a suffix. So i less than, and we get the m, which is the length of the p. Okay, so i less than m, i plus plus. So y of the k is greater or equal than zero. Why? Because only it is greater or equal than zero, we can get the pi k, right? And uh, when the p char at uh, the next place is k plus 1, not equal to p char at uh, i. We let the k equal to pi k. And uh, if uh, p char at uh, k equal to, oh uh, sorry, this is k plus 1 equal to p char at uh, i, we let uh, the k plus plus and the uh, pi i will equal to the k. Okay, this is the this part. And for the this part, we will use a k also start from the negative one. And the four int i equal to zero. We start from zero because in this case we should uh, compare every character i less than um, i plus plus. So while the k great or equal than zero and the uh, p. This is t char at i, not equal to the p char at k plus 1. If not equal, which, which means the next character is diff are different, are different. So we will get k equal to pi k. OK, then if p, if p char at k, uh, k plus 1 equal to t char at uh, i with the k plus plus. And uh, if uh, this k equal to m minus 1, which means it reaches the end, right? We will return the i minus m plus 1. Why? Because you see, when the i equal to this 3, right? Uh, we, uh, we reach the end. We will minus this length of this p. We minus two, but we only get one, so we should plus one. And finally, we just return negative one. Negative one. Okay. Thank you for watching. See you next time.